Welcome back, welcome back, and you know, glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to Ohio. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. You to see that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't breathe on our own. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. We can do nothing without the Lord. Absolutely nothing. I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. And today we're still in the book of Ezekiel. We're on chapter 45, the Lord's sacred land. But before we begin our reading, I want to know, are you guys saved? Have you given your life to Christ Jesus? Have you laid down your life truly? Have you been baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ? Do you live a life of holiness? Are you living a life of daily repentance? Because we live in these fleshly bodies and the flesh is always warring with the spirit. Are you seeking the Lord daily, reading his word, God's word, preferably the King James Version of the Bible, and going down to your knees in prayer and seeking him in sincerity and truth? Do you have that personal relationship with him? Father, seeking such from each and every one of us. I always tell you the truth because I love you, and Father God loves you more. Before we begin our reading, though, we'll say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Father, for your protection. Thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word. And thank you, Father, for giving us siblings that we love also. And we love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 45. The Lord's sacred land. The Lord said, When the land of Israel is divided among the twelve tribes, you must set aside an area that will belong to me. This sacred area will be eight miles long and six miles wide. The temple will be on a piece of land 840 feet square, and the temple will be completely surrounded by an open space 84 feet wide. I will give half of my sacred land a section eight miles long and three miles wide to the priests who serve in the temple. Their houses will be in this half as well as my temple, which is the most sacred place of all. I will give the other half of my land to the Levites who work in my temple, and the towns where they will live will be there. Next to my sacred land will be an area eight miles long and two miles wide. This will belong to the people of Israel and will include the city of Jerusalem. The Lord said, The regions west and east of my sacred land and the city of Jerusalem will belong to the ruler of Israel. He will be given the region between the western edge of my land and the Mediterranean Sea, and between the eastern edge of my land and the Jordan River. This will mean that the length of his property will be the same as the sections of land given to the tribes. This property will become to every will belong to every ruler of Israel. So they will always be fair to my people and will let them live peaceably in the land given to their tribes. The Lord God said, You leaders of Israel have robbed and cheated my people long enough. I want you to stop sinning and start doing what is right and fair. You must never again force my people off their own land. I, the Lord, have spoken. So from now on, you must use honest weights and measures. The ephah will be the standard dry measure, and the bath will be the standard liquid measure. Their size will be based on the homer, which will equal 10 ephahs or 10 baths. The standard unit of weight will be the shekel. One shekel will equal 20 giras, and 60 shekels will equal one mina. Leaders of Israel, the people must bring you one-sixth of their grain harvest as offerings to me. They will also bring 1% of their olive oil, these things will be measured according to the bath, and ten baths is the same as one homer or one core. Finally, they must bring one sheep out of every two hundred from their flocks. These offerings will be used as grain offer as grain sacrifices, as well as sacrifices to please me and those to ask my blessing. I, the Lord, will be pleased with these sacrifices and will forgive the sins of my people. The people of Israel will bring you these offerings. But during new moon festivals, Sabbath celebrations, and other religious feasts, you leaders will be responsible for providing animals for the sacrifices, as well as the grain and wine. All these will be used for the sacrifices of sin. 
the grain sacrifices, the sacrifices to please me, and those to ask my blessing. I will be pleased and will forgive the sins of my people. The Lord God said, On the first day of the first month, a young bull that has nothing wrong with it must be offered as a sacrifice to purify the temple. The priest will take some blood from this sacrifice and smear it on the doorposts of the temple, as well as on the four corners of the altar and on the doorposts of the gates that lead into the inner courtyard. The same ceremony must also be done on the seventh day of the month, so that anyone who sins accidentally or without knowing it will be forgiven, and so that my temple will remain holy. Beginning on the fourteenth day of the first month and continuing for seven days, everyone will celebrate Passover and eat bread made without yeast. On the first day, the ruler will bring a bull to offer as a sacrifice for his sins and for the sins of the people. Each day of the festival, he is to bring seven bulls and seven rams as sacrifices to please me, and he must bring a goat as a sacrifice for sin. These animals must have nothing wrong with them. He will also provide 20 pounds of grain and four quarts of olive oil to be offered with each bull and each ram. The festival of shelters will begin on the 15th day of the seventh month and will continue for seven days. On each day of this festival, the ruler will provide the same number of animals that he did each day during Passover, as well as the same amount of grain and olive oil for the sacrifices. Well, God's willing, on Monday, God's willing, we'll come back, let's see. I will do chapter 40, so still in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 46, Various Laws for the Ruler and the People. Please tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one of some. He died for us all. So if you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Nobody else died for our sins. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. This is not something up for debate or discussion. This is something we all must do. So please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. I love you all with the love of the Lord. It's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike. And also a beautiful, blessed weekend. Please stay safe. Stay hydrated. And be, be aware of your surroundings. You all have a beautiful, blessed day. And a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.